A new bill is giving exotic animals new protections. President Biden signed the Big Cat Public Safety Act into law today, essentially banning the private ownership of lions, tigers, and other big cats. CBS 8's Jenny Day is here with what one local activist in San Diego who had a huge part in this new law is saying tonight, Jenny. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of fascination with these big cats. So good evening to you both. The founder and director of Lions, Tigers, and Bears, an animal sanctuary in Alpine, has been working to get this bill passed for 15 years. She said it was hard to initially even convince people of what was actually going on. So this new bill signed by President Biden ends underground breeding and cub petting. It also bans most sales of big cats and makes it illegal to have one as a pet. The popular Netflix documentary Tiger King recently shed light on the topic and gave us all a glimpse at the industry. This bill was actually championed by Carol Baskin, who was featured in that show. The Alpine Sanctuary also hopes that it inspires people to only visit accredited facilities that don't buy, breed, sell, or trade exotic animals. All right, so most people don't know exotic animal trade, second, second to drugs and human trafficking in our country. And the, these animals are just bred for nothing more than profit. Babies bring, babies bring money and then using them for the photo ops. So they use them for a couple months and they're, they're disposable. They disappear. They're, they're killed. They're sold off for their body parts. If they're lucky, they end up at a sanctuary like lions, tigers, and bears. So this will help with that because it'll stop the hands on touching in the photo ops and it'll stop the private ownership of the animals. Yeah, Brink there has been fighting for animal rights since the 90s. She is grateful for this bill, but says there is still more work to be done. Every single animal at Lions, Tigers and Bears has a rescue story. For example, some were beat in order to perform. Others just had owners who were in over their head. Now, under the new federal law, it will be up to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to enforce. Current big cat owners will be grandfathered in as long as they register the animals so that the government can keep better track. Live in studio, Jenny Day, CBS 8.